In this video, I will guide you through a problem in Smith's Organic Chemistry. I'm Stoddard, founder of Study Chem, the place for students to turn for higher grades in OCHEM. Let's get started. Okay, we're asked to rank the following compounds in increasing boiling point. One is going to be highest and three is going to be the lowest. So that's my numbering system that I use. Let's look at each of these compounds and figure out what intermolecular forces might be present and list them out. This molecule has an OH. Alcohols have the possibility of hydrogen bonding which is the greatest intermolecular force. This molecule is polar because of the electronegative negativity, so it has the dipole-dipole forces, and any molecule will have a certain surface area, so it has van der Waals forces available. This molecule has no hydrogen bonding groups. It has no electronegative atoms for polar groups, so it only has van der Waals forces that might make it a liquid, for example. Over here we have no OH bond or oxygen bonded to hydrogen, so there's no hydrogen bonding in this molecule. We do have an oxygen that is bonded to carbon, making two polar bonds that add to make a dipole, that point to the lower right here. So this polar molecule has dipole-dipole interactions, and it also has van der Waals. So if we rank these, we have hydrogen bonding, which is best for rank one. Next, we have dipole-dipole interactions, which is second best for rank two. And finally, we have van der Waals forces as the weakest, making this molecule lowest boiling. For part B, all of these have the same situation. They all have an OH. The hydrogen bond is directly bonded to the oxygen, so they have hydrogen bonding. There are polar functional groups present, so they will all exhibit dipole-dipole interactions, and they all have van der Waals forces. The van der Waals forces will differ depending on the branching. This one is linear, so it has the most surface area. And so it has the highest van der Waals. Using our ranking system, this would have the highest boiling point. Now, this one in the middle has the most branching. It's like a piece of crumpled up piece of paper with the least surface area. It's most branched, which means least surface area, and its van der Waals forces are going to be the lowest. So this is the third place molecule here. So we'll write rank three here. Now, this one here is slightly branched. It has one branch, whereas the middle one has two branches. So this is in between the two extremes here. Oh, I forgot a carbon coming off the last uh, chain. All these molecules have the same number of carbons, so they only differ in branching. So it has a rank of uh, carbon two, one being the highest, three being the lowest. So thank you for watching.